Welcome. Today, I'll discuss about planning and a type of planning that is rational planning model and I'll illustrate an example based on this planning model. Let's start the discussion with a question, what is planning? Planning is an intellectual process which lays down an organization's objectives and develops various courses of action. Among different planning models, rational planning is a significant one. The rational planning model is the process of understanding a problem followed by establishing and evaluating planning criteria, formulation of alternatives and implementing them, and finally monitoring the progress of the chosen alternatives. Let's discuss about the strengths and weaknesses of this model. Strengths. Rational planning model allows the administrators to look ahead, identify and avoid obvious errors. It creates opportunities to turn faulty goals into concrete action plan. This model allows setting priorities on tasks based on their needs. Rational planning model creates room for proper resource allocation through its competent-based approach. Following this model, administrators need to analyze and evaluate a plan before its execution. It allows the planning process to be monitored and highlight the strengths and weaknesses. It also creates opportunities for feedback implementation. Weaknesses As this planning model requires careful consideration and deliberation of data, it is not well suited for making quick decisions. Setting the goals and their implementations solely relies on the administrators that make the process sometimes bureaucratic. Following this model can become difficult in a time of crisis as it doesn't allow rapid decision making. It doesn't have room to consider the politics and other factors inside and outside of the organization. We'll now illustrate a plan based on rational planning model. Students of a certain government primary school used to suffer from waterborne diseases. To find out the roots behind this issue and coming up with a solution, rational planning model was implemented. Step 1. Identifying the problem. A survey was conducted among all the students to collect data about how they purify the drinking water. After analyzing the primary data, the administrators came up with the result that more than 80% students and their families do not purify drinking water properly. So the problem was identified as absence of awareness for the importance of drinking pure water. Step 2. Design alternative courses of action. Action A was to conduct a lesson in classroom on the importance of drinking pure water. The forecasted consequence was that students will be aware of this issue and they'll reach out to their family members about it. Action B was to conduct a session with parents, community members and other students held by doctors on a weekend. The forecasted consequence was that we'll be able to uh, discuss the issue with maximum number of people. And as it will be discussed by professional personnel, people will take it more seriously. Step 3. Compare and evaluate the alternatives. Comparing the alternate actions between themselves allowed to analyze them based on available resources and maximum positive consequence. Action B was chosen as the most preferred action as it was within the available resources and it forecasted the most positive consequence. Step 4. Develop a plan of action. Firstly, students were informed that they need to reach out to their parents and community members about this upcoming event. It was explained to them how crucial it was for them so that they don't take it lightly. Permission was granted from the headmaster and school management committee to use the school premise on a weekend. Two doctors from the local medical college were reached out and they agreed to conduct the session. Finally, the session was held according to the plan on a weekend. Step 5. Maintain the plan on a current basis through feedback and review. The whole plan was shared with the fellow supervisor and feedback was received on certain extents. According to the feedback, a letter was drafted by the students to send out to the district primary education officer and Upozila Nirbahi officer to ask for a couple of water filters that were to be installed in the school and these were later received. After the execution, review was received from GPS teachers and guardians about the session. To analyze the forecasted consequence, constant evaluation about the sickness among the students were being held. It was found that the amount of sickness among students dropped vastly within the next six months. To wrap up this discussion, it is crucial to mention that the multi-step rational planning model aims to be logical and follow the orderly path from problem identification to solution. It might not be effective in a time of crisis, but it can be proven essential for ensuring a long-term positive impact. Thank you for watching this video.